Well, who thought that I was gonna start one of my videos with an outro? But since a lot of you guys was asking me on how did I actually make my outro, I would like to share with you guys a way on how to make an outro that looks somehow similar to mine. So without taking longer, let's get started in this video. So first thing first, you have to download this app from the description below of this video. I was one of the first people to showcase this app on YouTube and now a lot of you guys are using this app to make your own videos and I'm pretty proud of you guys. They grow so fast. So if you guys don't have this app, all you have to do is to download it from the description below. This is the pro version by the way, so you need to download it from the description below. So first thing, go ahead and pick from library the music that you guys would like to put on your outro. Once you guys pick it, go ahead now and press on those three buttons which is on the top right corner of the screen and go ahead and press on an option which is visualizer. So once you guys uh, actually press on it, it's going to show you something like this. This is the audio spectrum that a lot of people actually use to make their music videos like their remixes and stuff like this. So first thing we need to do so many edits. Uh, the first thing you have to do is to press on this button right over here and choose this yellow uh, spectrum and then and uh, as you can see, if we play the music, the background will actually shake with the beat, which is something really important in today's tutorial. So let's go ahead and go deep into the edit of the spectrum. So all you have to do is to press on this edit button or pen button, which you should find right here, and press on the second image option, which should be below blur effect. So once you guys press on it, it's going to show you all of those um, effects. First thing, go ahead and hit on pick image and pick any image you want. So as you can see, I did prepare this uh, kind of Twitter shout out of my Twitter. So you can actually do that or you can use like the subscribe button or anything. So so basically I use this and also be sure to go ahead to general and search for this option right over here which is going to allow you, uh, allow you sorry, to uh, change the position of your uh, image that you actually chose. And also you're going to go ahead now and just uh, as you can see there's two positions which are going to allow you to just control the position even uh, more deeper than what you should. So what all you have to do next is to go ahead now and just go uh, down below uh, to another option which is going to allow you to like see the full image because as you can see it's crops right now so it should be down below somewhere right over here and as you can see right over here you see radius and if you, if you expand it as you can see now you can see the full thing and as you can see we'll find the scale so scale is down until you think that the scale is um, looking pretty decent so for the moment we have something like this so as you can see the twitter uh, thing that we did is actually also bouncing with the music which adds a really cool rhythm to the outro but as you can see we have those bars right over here which we actually do not need so all you have to do is to go to the edit and go ahead and search the bars uh, option which should be down below the image option that we just worked with so press on bars which should be right there and then as you can see you can go to the general uh, so go ahead and expand general and under general General, you'll find the visible uncheck that and as you can see you now the bars um, actually disappeared so I'm going to go ahead and go and mess around with the background because as you can see it just this blurry thing for the moment but let's say that you hate this background which most likely you will and you guys would like to change it all you have to do is to go ahead and press on the edit button and press on the first image option and it's going to give you so many options go ahead and press on pick image and pick any image from your gallery so I picked this one because I think it looks uh, uh, pretty great i guess so you can pick any uh, image you want and uh, there we go this is actually looking pretty good all right once you're actually done go ahead now and save your stuff by pressing on this button right over here and as you can see you can um you can change so many things for example the name of the video that you will be saving so for the moment i'll be calling it outro just like this there, there's so many presets for example uh, there's like 720p but i'm going to keep it 1080p uh, 30 fps so i'm gonna go ahead and press on export so when you hit export it's going to take uh, like a few minutes maybe one or two minutes to save the video so i'll be back when it's done so once your video is finally saved into your gallery go ahead and just jump into your video editor in my case i'm using kind master but i know a lot of you guys will be using something different for example uh, power director or viva video it doesn't matter it all works the same so go ahead now and import the uh, video that you just saved from av music player then go ahead and and just remove the areas that you don't need from your video and just leave the area that you're gonna be exporting for your outro. 
so as you can see i did add this white background right over here which is going to help me to put my video when i'm editing so go ahead and make this full time just like this and you can actually add any animation you want the one that i suggest you to do is slide up you can change the timer and you will have something like this so this will guide you to uh, put your video when you're editing so next up you're gonna go ahead and add a text layer if you want just i'm going to add thanks for watching just be sure to not misspell it <clears throat> all right i'm going to place it down below right over here and as you can see we will have something just like this so for the moment i'm pretty happy uh, of how it ends up looking it's kind of similar to my uh, outro and it's going to help you a lot if you are kick starting your youtube channel so by saving my outro it's going to wrap up today's video thank you all so much for watching this video especially this guy if you guys would like to get a free shout out go ahead and comment in the comment section below anything sweet uh, also guys be sure to go ahead and subscribe down below if you are new to my channel drop a like in this video and i'll catch you guys next time peace out yeah.